and welcome to the milling portion of the What's New in GibbsCam 2023 video series. In this release, we've added a few minor improvements to milling that should save the average programmer a decent amount of time. The first thing I'd like to show you today is our new option, Do Not Plunge. This is an option within offset roughing that forces GibbsCam to never plunge. This is good for machining out the outside of your stock while leaving the inside cavities for other operations. To this day, I still see users drawing geometry around the stock, making them air walls, and then selecting that. So let me show you how to use this. Um, I've actually created an operation here already, um, but just to show you how easy it is, I'm going to clear that out and let's, let's make a new one. So again, it's, it's within roughing and it has to be offset here. Um, you want to define your upper and lower limits like you normally would. Set your Z step desired. So that, that looks a little big. I'm going to um, do another pass here. Now, right here is where you select the new option, do not plunge. Um, so that's going to force it to always enter from the outside here. Everything else is the exact same. All you have to do is select what you're cutting. And let's hit redo. So pretty cool. Um, before, if I just selected the whole part, you know, I'd try to get in these little holes and try to mill out this cavity and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to handle that with later operations. So um, you can see it, it made, a, uh, looks like three or four different operations here, three different operations, um, one for the right side, one for the left side, and one for the middle. So it is intelligent and knows that uh, it needs separate operations for, for each of those. We've also added a new option to mill boring called spiral. This option cuts a spiral out of a full diameter at each Z step in contrast to helix bore, which helix is down in Z before stepping out to the diameter. Spiral boring produces a more consistent tool load without full engagement, which lets you substantially increase your cutting feed rate, cut depth, or both to clear the bore more quickly. So um, I actually have a, um, uh, I've, I pre-drilled these holes, right? So if I if I go into my simulation, you can see I've pre-drilled these holes. So that's the hole that we're going to enter through. Um, if I go into our operation here, we're using mill bore, and it has to be rough mill bore in order to use this. Like before, we still set our uh, cutting depths here and our clearance plane and all that stuff. Um, everything new is over here on the bore tab. The new thing is spiral here. Um, and you can see that this toolpath that it generates is actually a spiral, um, and that's what helps your tool life um, rather than, you know, cutting perpendicular to the material and going in there. Um, this does require a post modification. Um, it's, it's relatively simple. Um, and if you would like to not use the spiral option, um, you want to check this box here that says add legacy depth feeds. Um, that's good for like if you typically do a, use a subroutine or something for boring, um, this will allow you to do that.